two, one. Welcome everybody to Geek Boots Military Nerds. Here at Geek Boots, we like to tell you all about the big green weenie and how it likes to continue to fuck us. Like DC Comics giving you the franchise you always wanted, but it's being run by Warner Brothers. <laughs> oh, poor Injustice. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's news to me, Injustice, by the you're way. such a good game. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. And it... it it's it's interesting because that falls in line with the um, supposed thoughts through the Zack Snyder cut and all of the things he wanted to do, considering the future of his little storyline with Superman <laughs> going bad and everything. So that would have been fun to watch. I say that like it, it I would have been, and <laughs> it seems like like every few years, like there's a huge upheaval in the senior staff at Warner Brothers. Yeah. So they always try and take it in another direction. It's like, you've got these projects. Let's finish these projects before we start something else. Like cosplayers. No idea. I do that all the time too. I'm like, oh, man, oh wait, oh, I wanted to do that one thing, but then this. Um, mm, mm. <laughs> um, this week's episode has nothing to do with DC Comics, hilariously. This week's episode is about events as a whole. Um, this was brought to our attention by Mayan Goddess. Thanks, Mayan. Oh, wait. We love you. <laughs> we love you. We miss you. We miss you. Um, no, so we're going to be talking about Disneyland opening up. We're going to discuss... Um, we well, what we do know, because the person who just went to May the 4th and would have given us our insight isn't here, Mayan, throwing throwing a little bit of shade your way, <laughs> but I love you. Uh, we'll be discussing Fleet Week and potentially doing Fleet Week, in, depending on how things go. And of course, just events as a whole, because certain conventions are opening up and all this and covid policies with us we have special guests we have the amazing boots on the ground alan um natural life photography 70 there it is yep that one i'm just gonna call you boots on the ground <laughs> <laughs> welcome welcome back this is your second time being on the show yeah awesome. yep awesome to have you and of course the ever so lovely uh Castellon Cosplay, who has a plethora of things under his belt. Castellon, thank you for joining us. Anytime, man. Yes. Um, okay, so let, let's uh, let's dive into the shout-outs, of course. Uh, make sure you check out and support your local comic book shops. Um, mine is Mill Geeks Comics and Collectibles here in the Mill Creek Bothell area of Washington State. Uh, they have been continuing to support us they put our poster up on the wall if anybody has questions they know to talk to him and then they can come here so thank you for constantly supporting us uh single dad your turn good sir uh always popular end game comics and collectibles here in sunny ventura alan do you have any uh comic shops that you want to give some love to well yeah there is a comic bug uh, they have two shops that i know of one in Manhattan Beach and the other in Culver City. Oh, okay. Cool. And nice. uh, when I was collecting comics, I'd go to the one in Manhattan Beach because that's a stone throw from where I live. But uh, I used to go there. Prices, the inventory was pretty good. In fact, I went there and sold back a lot of comic books last year because <laughs> I was just, just cleaning up, you know, because of the lack of something to do. Yeah. So I got rid of my pops. I got rid of my comic books. Uh, got rid of a shitload of Blu-rays and DVDs, and I'm trying to get rid of some other things too. Yeah, nice. the funny thing, I got rid of a lot of DV pops, Funko pops that I just, you know, I collected it. Uh, uh, my friend, you know, he did the inventory and the pricing and everything, and managed to get decent prices. <laughs> all in all, uh, I'm sure I probably lost money, but all in all, I had enough money to pay for my annual pass. At Disneyland. Wow. wow. And of course, yeah. what happens to that annual pass? Right. You got canceled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that that reminds me of a buddy of mine I used to work with whose 
girlfriend's uncle had collected over 5,000 comic books uh, since, you know, basically, I don't know, X-Men became a thing. You know, he's been collecting comic books. And when asked why he was uh, doing this, there's a lot of feedback, Jen. I can hear so much going on. Yeah, so. There's nothing in my house. Ghosts. <laughs> I'm like, there's no sounds. It's so weird. Anyway, um, when asked why he was getting rid of the column books, he simply humbly said, I You got have, it, you're good. I have read all of these comic books frontwards, backwards, at least 10 times. I have memorized them by heart. I am getting too old now. I have no reason to have them. And you guys are becoming collectors, so you might as well start here. And let me tell you the collection that he had uh, in these giant chests was just massive. So I can only imagine the collection that you have, Alan. <laughs> Yeah, they were um, in the garage, they were in the closet, they were on the floor in the bedroom. <laughs> nice. Uh, Castellon Cosplay, you, uh, you got any comic book shops you want to give shout-outs to? I do. I go to uh, Comic Cult in Torrance. Mm. It's right by kind of the big hospital down there. They do a really good job. Uh, they're starting to do events. Too. I think it changed ownerships during COVID. I think the lady finally retired that owned it. Uh, and so they got, they got the Green Ranger coming to do a sign and meet and greet this week. Jason Sometime. David Frank. Nice. Yeah. That guy has mixed reviews from how he uh, is with guests. Apparently, he comes off a little too aggressive when it comes down to uh, meeting certain guests and <laughs> asking them if they would like to train under him. But it comes off more like pretentious. Like, well, I was a Green Ranger, so I know a lot. And it's like, you need to chill out, dude. <laughs> But um, I had a really great time meeting him. Um, I asked him if we could do uh, martial arts poses because I know some stuff. And uh, I garnered a stop, and he actually shook my hand before I walked away. So I was like, oh, holy That's shit. That's cool. So, yeah. Jason David Frank is a pretty fun individual to meet. Very nice. Cosplay Jenemy, you got anybody you want to give a shout out to? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I'm taking a shout out to Single Dad Cosplay because he wanted it. <laughs> that Sorry, website, that was kind of though. wrong. <laughs> that sounded very wrong. I apologize for that. Still adding to it. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on some stuff. So. But yeah, I got uh, not comic book shop. I'm gonna go with gaming shop. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Sorry, not Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Javas. Java, oh, okay. Dragons and Javas or something. Yeah, whatever. I can't. I'm butchering this. Um, <laughs> coffee shop slash gaming gaming shop uh, here in Colorado Springs. Nice. Yes. And they are fantastic, and they're starting to come back a little bit. So we'll see. We have yeah. the governor who has opened up more stuff and is unmasked mandated for people with vaccines. How we're proving that, I don't know, but. You know. Well, I, I believe it was Dr. Fauci who said the honor system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's worked so well so far. <laughs> I mean, I've got a three by five and some Crayola crayons. <laughs> crayons. I mean, I can make my own. <laughs> you know that that's a great segue into the topics that are on tonight. So I just find it fascinating. So for me personally. I, I can see both sides of this argument, but at the end of the day, I come from the perspective of my, milita my military stance. When you get the flu shot, you get a little paper slip that says you received the flu shot this year. That way, because it's the military, it's the government, them taking care of your information is <laughs> laughable. Um, you know, when they come back and they start listing off the names of people who need to get their flu, flu shots... And your name comes up because why <laughs> they lost your record already because they're stupid as all hell. And they go, Hey, you need to go. Well, what you'll have to do is take this little paper slip, go to the hospital and say, no, I don't. I already received it. Why? Well, do you want two flu shots within one month? 
be my guest, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> so it's it's in this it's in the same vein. Uh, this COVID vaccine slip has always been that as its purpose is to pr- is to show the people who are giving you your shot where you're at, you know, whether or not you've had it or not. And then when it comes down to these businesses who want to know, make sure that you've been vaccinated. You know, and people who say, oh, my God, this is a little too heavy on, you know, my freedoms. You know, I get where you're coming from. But the problem with your logic is your personal information is not on that ticket. Not your social security on number. Sa- on the same your- <laughs> on the same go round, like HEPA violations is not you telling your own personal information. Yep. You can tell your own personal information to anyone who wants to listen and you're not violating anything because it's your own. The hospital cannot release, or the pharmacy, or or your doctor, or your doctor or cannot your tell the business. Yeah. yeah, or or your work cannot tell your business to them. They can't call your doctor's office and say, "Hey, did they get this vaccine?" That would be a HIPAA violation. Yep. A HIPAA violation. Which I posted about today. Yep. Did you? Believe it or not. <laughs> nice. Yep. And it's like. But you giving your own personal information to somebody to say, hey, I can fly, or hey, I can go to this convention, or hey. Multipass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> has, has nothing to do with, like, I, anything as long as you are voluntarily giving your information. Yep. And I, I can't stress this enough. All it says is what, whether or not you've been signed off to have one or two vaccine shots. And when. That's it. Yeah, yeah. and, and when. the batch yeah. number from what you got. That's yeah. it. That's all what it is. What kind and which batch number, which doesn't really tell anybody like, anything. If it, if it so, had your social security number on it, I would probably be a little wary too. Because I'm like, I don't want people fucking knowing my social security number. Like, fuck you. But that information's not on it. It's just whether or not you got None of the here. rest of your medical records are on it. It's fucking just right. card. <laughs> it's got your right. name. If you don't and want then, somebody knowing your name, but then, you know, yeah. you can't show an ID card. Yeah, yeah. There's more information on your driver's I'm, license. I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, those of us with kids understand you can't even get a kid into elementary school without their vaccine record. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I and mean, there are some like... private schools. There are some private schools that will will allow a child to attend without having uh, vaccinations, but that's few and far between. Now, I mean, you've got to get. I mean, your your diptet, your DPTs, and your I mean, a whole gamut MMR, of vaccinations yeah. to be able to go to school. Yep. And with COVID nineteen, and yes, I understand. Right now, we are in an emergency use uh, approval. Fine, got it. Okay. Um, and then the the long term tests and everything like that. This is eventually going to get the FDA full approval. And it's going to eventually be on the list of annual shots that you're going to get with the yep. flu shot every year. I mean, explain to me, please. Somebody that's somebody that's mo- watched more than two YouTube videos, explain <laughs> to me why you're not getting vaccinated. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, the people who are, I mean, like I expected it from the people who are anti-vax always. But then, like the people who like get flu shots every year, who been in the military, yep. and have already been experimented on, I had to, I I finally had to delete somebody from my from my friend group, and he used he's prior army, and he posted a thing, and this is not why I had to. The reason I got rid of him is because he kept every time I post something he didn't agree with, he had to fight with me. Oh. Oh, so, I, uh, we talked about that one. Yeah, so that's the reason I got rid of him. Not because we have a difference in opinion. That had nothing to do with it. It was yeah. just that he never posted anything, like, positive if he agreed with something. Or if I posted a picture of me and my children and he'd be like, oh, how cool, you know, whatever. There was nothing right. else. The only time he posted on my page was to argue with me. And I was like, okay. Oh, I've got people like that. And so, <laughs> and so, but he had posted, you know how everybody has those, like, or not everybody, but you know, the picture where it says I've been vaccinated or we let's all get vaccinated or, you know, the, the what you put. Well, his said, um, I have an immune system. It's just like the flu. And I'm like, you do realize there's a flu shot, right? And the flu changes every year. The flu shot changes every year. 
and the, the same thing kill, with this is going to happen too. Change. This is going to start changing every year. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, because there's it already started changing. It there's so many yeah. variations and mutations. Mm -hmm. yep. But I was like, I don't always get the flu shot every year. I've never gotten it. It falls into my lap. <laughs> How so dare like, you, you Sean? <laughs> <laughs> I, got I don't like vaccine. go out of my way to go get the flu shot. <laughs> this breaking in, Sean has never had a flu vaccine. Let's all get him. It's getting up on him like social media. How have you never had one? <laughs> well, never as an adult, I don't think. Oh, okay. But I mean, I get sick like once every 10 years. I rarely ever catch anything. My yeah. Well, both of my kids were born in the fall. Mm. And so oh. I was in the hospital. They're like, do you want your flu shot? And I'm like, while I'm here. <laughs> so it's, like, it's like those okay. types of moments where you're walking okay. by somebody oh, in like Target. I missed to stab you with the flu shot real quick. <laughs> what? <laughs> Single dad, I'm calling on you. Yeah. She's doing my job. Okay. So you, you don't get your flu shot, <laughs> but you don't get sick every 10 years. And then in one year you have what? 17 car accidents? Syphilis. I, mean, I was come three. On. I was three. And to be to be to be fair, none of those were my fault. To be fair. <laughs> we were way off on that one. That was Just the saying, worst we've your ever track done. record for luck with things happening not so great right now. So please get vaccinated. Well, I, I have been. I have been for COVID. And let's keep in mind, I like, did. I got COVID. I did walk away from all the accidents. <laughs> yes. Well, that's that's good. With minimal. Minimal eggs I didn't and get pains, sick still. either until I had children in school. Uh, Interesting uh, breakaway here. Yeah, well, kids bring home have... gross crap. We know yeah, that. they do. And they, yeah. they lick random things. <laughs> yeah. since, since all of us have been... Like, all the, of us okay, have so been, the first uh, time... The first random time things? <laughs> the <laughs> zoo <laughs> opened back up here after COVID. We have our masks on. And I'm like hand sanitizing my kids every five seconds. We're like Those walking. Brown. I'm like, don't touch the handrails. Don't do anything. My son leans over and licks the handrail. <laughs> I'm so proud of him right now. <laughs> you know, Osmosis Jones, you're it's about to be your life. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? You're raising a marine. <laughs> it's, Just gotta it's see. Been, it's been a really, it's been really nice knowing that Alan in the corner has a fan on because he's so still while we're all <laughs> chiming in and discussing this. And I'm just like, poor Alan's waiting to have a conversation, just enjoying us all talking. And I'm like, I, I can't tell if he's from, nope, nope, the fan's on. He's good. He's <laughs> really <laughs> no, the still. Fan's going. <laughs> Does it look like it's like going one way and then turning the other way and then going the other way? A little bit. Yeah. No, you need to go lay down for a little bit because that's. <laughs> Flipping weird. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, again, we uh, we don't have an inside woman because mine's not here. Love you, but shade. Um, so let's talk about Disneyland and its policies. Uh, what we do know, uh, let's let's have Alan take it away uh, about the uh, attendance records and percentages about people going to Disney Disneyland. Alan, why don't you go ahead and take that away? Well, <clears throat> affected today is in Orange County, home of Disneyland. Uh, went to the yellow tier, and that meant 35% capacity for them. I mean, there's other things related to the yellow tier about increasing uh, capacity for bars and movie theaters, et cetera, but specifically for Disneyland. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, it was 28%. I think, uh, like Sean said, uh, or alluded to, on March the 4th, it was 10%. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, on April the 30th, it was 10% when they reopened. Uh, <clears throat> but today is the first day of 35%. And I know mm -hmm. people that are there at the park right now, mm -hmm. and they said it's very crowded, very busy. And it's a Tuesday, or it's Wednesday. What is today? Thursday? Wednesday. Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Wednesday. Sunday? <laughs> yeah, yeah. When, when you barely today's go yet, outside, every day is the same. <laughs> <laughs> it has been some of that this year, yeah. Uh, today anyway, is yesterday. Yeah. We'll get to tomorrow next week. Uh, you sure about that? <laughs> Not last week. Don't confuse numbers. him, God. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, today being Wednesday. <laughs> I do. I do like the fact that you do re refer to me as God now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
the other the father, God. the son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, they're one of the same. Depends on your religion. Oh my God, Alan, continue. <laughs> yes. Anyways, thirty-five percent today. Now, um, June the fifteenth is when supposedly the state of California is going to reopen, according to Lord Newsom. Um, <laughs> that means that the mass policies that for all intended purposes, are going to go bye-bye. Mm -hmm. The attendance, I'm not sure if it's going to go from 35 to 50%, but as of right now, since they're in the yellow tier, it's 35%. And um, I guess, Sean, you're going, what, you said next week or in a couple of weeks? Uh, June 11. Okay, yeah, the so second you... week of Avengers Campus. Okay, so you'll yeah. know. Well, you're, you're, are you park hopping or are you just going to DCA? Just DCA for the day. Okay, because I know that for the first two, three weeks, DCA has been like a ghost town for obvious reasons. Yeah. Uh, after June the 4th, that may not it's necessarily be so. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I it, the numbers I was given today, and I'm not sure where um, uh, Steve from Cosplay Parents got the numbers from. I'm sure he got it from a legitimate so source. Uh, 28,000 people at the park today on a Wednesday. No. Now, even oh, at 35%, that tells me that's a lot. Uh, yeah. So, you know, it gets to 50%. What does that mean? 50,000? I don't, I don't know. Should, just... be, should be 40 because max capacity, according to the websites, are 80,000 for the park. And 55 is your typical average day when it was open completely before COVID. Um, okay, but that's, that's still a lot of people for a week. a lot day. of people. Yeah. yeah so. And then, of course, there's the parking issue. Like I said, uh, at 842 this morning, I was sent a photo of what the parking structure looks like from outside, from the mm -hmm. ramp. Uh, <clears throat> and there was like, wall. it was a line con at the parking structure of cars. Oh so, uh, and I don't know how long it took me to get inside the lot, pay the is, parking and find a parking spot. Is Toy Story still being used for vaccinations? Or is that open back up for parking? No, yet? they supposedly closed that down. Okay. Uh, or if they haven't, they soon will be closing it down. Toy but Story? I, I thought I read someplace that they are, they are closing it. In oh. Preparation for, you know what, right, the summer parking and all that stuff. Oh. If I had the money, I would get a hotel within the park, and then i just fucking parachute in and say, fuck it. I'm, I'm considering it. <laughs> I can't get so the only one that's like that is California, Grand California, mm -hmm. um, which uh, Paradise Pier... I just got the email. Paradise Pier is opening up uh, June fifteenth. So for those that are pause for dramatic trying effect. to get uh, get rooms and everything like that, I know that they were uh, they were prioritizing uh, Disneyland Resort, which includes Paradise Pier and Grand California. Um, they were prioritizing them uh, for the for scheduling into mm -hmm. the park. Mm -hmm. What about I'm the Disneyland I'm super curious. So I'm a DVC, DVC member, and I wonder if there's even any openings at Grand California right now. I don't know if Grand California is open yet. I know it's, it's been open to DVC I, the whole like time because they cannot take away something we're paying for yearly. Hmm. Oh, they did for us annual pass holders. <laughs> Maybe yeah, it's but because you, you're a Californian. We are in like a 30 year contract. It's not like a year thing. <laughs> Translation. I mean, I had mine for 10 years, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you pay for it every year. I am. Yeah. I, I bought it's like property. It's like owning a house. Translation. Got it. Cosplay Genemy is the queen and you need to treat her as such. <laughs> Fair. No argument. So I'm curious. I'm cur yeah. So yeah, the DVC uh, hotels have been open for DVC members the entire time hmm. in both parks. But, I mean, only one in but the hotels there, themselves but... have been closed. Yeah. But she's the queen and she can get what she fucking wants. What part of this art do you I, guys I'm, understand? I'm, I'm not <laughs> understanding this. Clearly. Like, I'm. I, I understand that you could have made in. your reservations through DVC, but you couldn't go. The hotels themselves <laughs> yeah. were closed. But not only that, the DVC is. side has stayed open. Listen, oh. she's going to show up in her Queen Amadama dress. 
All right. And Unless they only kept be... it open for World, I really haven't looked at California. <laughs> but you're, oh, you're that's what I'm saying. Resident. Yeah, California has yeah. been closed. I think for because even all the, the whole time that Disney World was closed, closed, and all of their resorts were closed, they had four, three or four of the DVC four DVC. <laughs> like, yeah, no, that's gone and, like, sorry. That yeah, that's that's not California. Okay, I'd have to look, but I we're wonder about, if we're talking about California Adventure, or are we just talking about the whole state? You got, please clarify to the Washingtonian over here. Both. Oh, okay. Well, when I say when I say California, I'm meaning Disney. Disney. Okay. Disneyland. <laughs> yeah. When I'm saying okay. Florida, yeah. it's Disney World. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, I say World Land, but we World were doing. Land. <laughs> That'll be interesting too. I had that thought too. I wonder because I know June 15th, California is going to reopen totally, right? Which takes away all the mandates and stuff. But it doesn't mean that businesses will take away all the mandates that they have. So Disney, like, Nor like Norwegian Cruise Line was the first to say, if you're not vaccinated, you can't come on our boats for yeah. guests or right. crew. So Disney could potentially say, yeah, the state's open, but because we're a park and there's kids running around, there's germs, that we're still going to enforce a mandate for a mask for the next six months and see how it goes. There's well, no Disney telling. Well, Disney World just dropped their mask mandate for outdoor use. But that's Florida versus California. They're yeah. two very different systems. <laughs> they are, and they've got different people. I yeah. mean, they've got the same, but different people leading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disney is always going to follow whatever the governor says. It, it's it's a little bit. Right. Well, but even then, when, when they could because have raised... They, California could have raised the admittance a couple weeks ago, and they and they passed on it and didn't raise the number of people. Well, the same thing with with Florida. Like they're they're only just getting out of their thirty five percent. They haven't mm -hmm. raised how many people they're going up, but they're going up some more and have dropped outdoor use for masks, even though Florida hasn't had a mask mandate for months. Yeah, so they're being more cautious, which is so. Yeah, that's why I said they're idea. following the governor of the state. Yeah, a little. Yeah, but I mean, they don't want the employees to have to shut down again and not have work. Because again if for, you're a corporation you know, and and you can do contact if if you're a corporation and if somebody catches it and dies, yeah. and they do the contact Ooh. tracing and it's you are in the park. 100%. Guess whose fault it is? Hundred yep. percent. Yeah. So I think they'll they're, keep they're some protecting themselves from lawsuits. Here. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Smart. Smart. It is smart. They're, I mean, Disney has always been very business savvy. As litigious as Californians are, yeah. Good call. Yep. Let's see. But don't forget on June the 15th, that's when the state will allow out-of-state visitors, at least for Disneyland. So right, Which is right why now, they're opening up the hotels. Exactly. So, yep. so what does that mean? I can't fly or drive past the border, but somehow I can enter Disneyland? Hold on. <laughs> the state's not open up, but Disneyland is. I'm like... Oh. Well, no, June 15th, the state opens up. So June 15th, you can roll on through. Oh, okay. Thank God. Yeah, I, right now, if you wanted to, you, you couldn't get in. And you and as of right in, now, I low key thought I had to teleport into Disneyland with the Stargate no. and everything. June fifteenth, you're good. Okay. As of as of now, you know, if they see it, something happen. What what date yeah. does it open back up? The Which June fifteenth. Yeah. Okay. State reopens. Well, I meant just the. Jamie's booking a flight for the 16th. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's, she's not doing she's any typing, research. I see it. She's typing right now. <laughs> There's no <laughs> research there. happening Look, live right there. as we're on. It's she's looking up events going, ah, I love you guys, but here we go. <laughs> it's like, it's telling me no. It's like December. And I'm like, no, I want to go before then. It's like December. That's <laughs> so already popular. Yeah, see, it's already. <laughs> like, it's not letting me. Hold on. Let me make my screen bigger. Okay, there we go. Oh general six months out just because that's as far out as you can book so of course the the uh, right now i'm not looking at going before november i was literally about to ask yeah given the conversations we just had Honestly. all the information put out what does everyone feel about disneyland because that's obviously going to be the topic question on this part of the segment uh so single dad already answered sean i think you've already answered because you got your tickets yeah i'll be going but i don't plan on going again until a, I'm going with people. Like if mm -hmm. someone I know is going, like yeah. in November, like if Russ goes and we get a bunch of people to go, then I'll go. Or until they open the membership, the new membership plan that they're going to have. Oh, okay. Because um, man, buying day tickets is <laughs> not gonna be able it's to horrendous. It. Yeah, it was 155 bucks for one park one day, and it's 200 and something for a one day two park. Yeah, because like, they have 
they're not doing good. the they're not doing the California or the Southern California yeah. uh, discounts. There's no military discounts because uh, they haven't opened those pricings prices up yet. Yep. Um, for the four day park hoppers, which pause for they normally do because yeah. they're not allowing park hopping right now. Well, they have on well, my on my ops website. Park hopping. You can. Yeah, you can. You can. After yeah, one but, p.m., you can move parts. Yeah, right. Yeah. The only, only catch to that one o'clock is though, if uh, if for example you, you bought a park hopper pass for DCA being your primary park, and you wanted to go into Disneyland, if it's not full to capacity, quote and unquote, at one o'clock you can go in. If it is, you can't. You and can't. I don't know if you can enter in after one o'clock when capacity has been reduced. Because how do they determine that capacity has re been reduced? I think you um, can. I've heard you can because go they, back and forth. But, if, but it's con supposedly contingent upon if yeah. the secondary park is not full. Yeah, that's what I've right. heard too. So that's why I, I've been June. debating about getting a park hopper pass. Yeah. Yeah. My office has our office discount up, and I think it was a five day park hopper for $380. Um, which I'm still like, I'm not going to buy that yet because I don't know if yeah. they had weird rules. Like if you use your first day, you have to use the next two or three within the 14 day period or something. It was some weird like rush to make you do it all at once. Yeah. And I want to yeah. do it throughout the year if I so, get it. I mean, it. Right. Well, you, you know, as, as a side note to all this, there is a parking voucher. That, uh, it's on the Disneyland website, but you can get, you pay the $25 and that mm -hmm. voucher is open-ended. So, um, and it's, makes your admission into the parking lot a little faster. You don't mm -hmm. have to throw out cash or debit card. Uh, mm -hmm. You just show them the voucher, they scan it and they let you in. I'll have to do that. Uh, so but... I got one of those because I don't know when I'm gonna go. Uh, yeah. Right now I'm contemplating for July for my birthday, uh, but if things get hectic or if there's a second or third wave and they close things down or reduce capacity again, I don't know exactly when I'm going, going to go, but as I suggested to uh, Tom, that uh, if you folks are planning on showing up in November, Dapper Day is uh, yep, November. That's what 12th, I was planning. I November 12th, I think, is a Sunday. Uh, that weekend, that's the weekend Dapper I was Day planning. Expo, and that's when November 12th I is a Friday. To go. So that's something to think calendar. About. And uh, inadvertently answering the question, good job on that, Alan, because I was about to throw it back to you and say, what about you? But you just did it, so awesome. Thank you for that. Jen, how's your uh, ticket purchasing going on over there? <laughs> 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 well, let's see. If I wanted to go in June, which I can't because I'm out of state, but, well, no, they said they're opening. June 19th would be the only day I could go. Hmm. Um, that's the only available night. Now, what about November? Because... July, the 28th through the 31st. But, okay, if I want to do November, there's nothing. There's one date in the 19th is the only date available in November. That's, I'm, wow. That That's Dapper Day. I'm just the saying. The 19th is? I thought yes. you said it was the 12th. I'm just throwing this out there as a whole. Um. 19th that is ruby echo's birthday so if you happen to go to disneyland at the same time as ruby echo and then you can finally meet us and uh we could all celebrate her birthday and then just have a good old-fashioned time in, in disneyland it's the 14th the 14th, 14th. dapper day is the 14th i retract nice. all my statements because it's probably not gonna happen because we want to do dapper day <laughs> <laughs> so just celebrate her birthday early. It's her yeah. birthday yeah. week. True. I mean, come yeah. on. True. Yeah. True. I mean, mine's so. mine's the twenty second. I'm using that excuse to buy a ticket for that day now. Yeah. We'll be we'll be <laughs> we'll be we'll be we'll be there. We can go out to a nice dinner on the thirteenth, and then go to the park on the fourteenth. Something to look forward to. Yeah. No. Nope. Good little weekend. That is my weekend with my kids. So that's out. Bring them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's that whole out of state travel thing. Trust yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. I know That's exactly not where she's right coming now. from. But almost the entire month of January and February is open. Oh. That being said, let's switch gears. Fleet Week, uh, something we've been discussing since the inception of Geek Boots as an event for Geek Boots to do because it would be an incredible opportunity to sell merchandise and finally get in touch with fans. I'm going to throw it over to Castellon Cosplay to discuss what Fleet Week is. 
Hey, so Fleet Week, we host it down here in San Pedro um, at the Port of Los Angeles. And it's basically, we bring in big naval ships, uh, marine ships from all over the world. I think we had some from, uh, man, Panama came last time. Mm -hmm. A couple U.S. carriers are always there. Uh, we had some, I can't remember what else, what else. I just remember the Panama one because they all look like Where's Waldo. They had these red and white striped shirts across. And they're all hopping out like, that's an interesting uh, costume there. You know, interesting uniform for that. Like Costume? <laughs> yeah. I couldn't think of the word. I couldn't think of the word. I had a brain oh, malfunction. Man. You get a bunch of cosplayers around. That's kind of what it looked like because they're just red and white striped, red and red, white striped like shirts. And I'm like, never seen that before. Interesting. Such an, such an interesting segue. Not to cut you off, but I remember one day uh, I had just gotten off of National Guard duty. I went over to Comic-Con to go see my friends, meet up with them for dinner. I was unfortunately still in uniform at the time and somebody at Comic-Con had to ask me if I was dressed up for Comic-Con or if I actually served. I humbly replied with, no, it's a real uniform. I'm, I'm actually in service. And I'm like, oh, thank you for your service. You just never know. And I humbly <laughs> replied with, if someone is wearing a uniform to this extent, this authentic, and they're cosplaying, I don't know how I'd feel about that. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> anyway. It's such a weird, like, cosplay to cosplay. I'm just cosplaying somebody in the military. Yeah, it's a weird cosplay for sure. <laughs> I want to say I mean stolen valor, but... You're at Comic Con. You're not looking for benefits, so this is yeah. weird. <laughs> like, it's like yeah. why? I mean, cosplaying somebody from a movie who is military, but then those aren't. You even got a real na a I mean... real name tape on that jacket, <laughs> on that uniform, and everything. That's so weird. Anyway, continue on, yeah. Castellan. So, <laughs> the event that I worked was called Galley Wars, and it was uh, two naval ships, and I think there was a marine ship. There was two navy cooks, a marine cook and maybe even an Air Force cook. And it was hosted by Robert Irvine. And they basically had like the the cooking, like the master chef kind of challenge where they had a set of dishes and they had to make number of plates, you know, for taste testing. Um, and it was it was broadcast, I think, on channel four or something like that. Um, and That's my boss kind of said, hey, you want to work this, work this thing for overtime? And I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plus it was just a fun event to go to and see, you know, because we had, they have flyovers every 15, 20 minutes before the show. So you're seeing all the different helicopters from the different branches and the, the fire department was dropping water right on the side of the ship. That's awesome. hot as hell. So it felt good. That water oh, was like, sure. can you bring that back again, please? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and but yeah, it's just, I mean, there's tons of obviously like recruiting booths and there's tons of different interests. So like, you know, you guys, you guys to me would be a hit because you'd have the parents who you're aiming to get to the podcast. And you have the kids that want to see all the cost, all, all the cosplays and stuff, you know. So you, it's like a twofer. Um, have something fun for the kids to do and get we more just, listeners. We just got done discussing this, Sean. It's yeah. not a costume. Well, no, 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 no. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you guys at the event, at the event, if you came in your cosplays. Um, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, no, that show. was that was the big dream because I think that would be so incredible. Because again, I've never been and I want to go, and I can only imagine how cool it'd be to not only see Wonder Woman and Captain America and cosplay Jeremy, maybe as Black Widow, um, single dad, either being the camera operator to take photos for people, or he's dressed up as whatever he wants to dress up as and we take photos for people and obviously charge because it's an event and just not only get this i don't oh, charge at events look, look at look, look at these awesome people in costume at these events and then you find out they actually served what yeah, yeah. yeah just that double hit right there would be so fascinating to do um yeah. i really and i don't know what the size of the event will be this year i don't i don't know any of the details they just said they're going to start looking at what they're doing mm -hmm. you know like doing it this year um because i work on the same floor that coordinates i work for the port and i work on the floor that coordinates it so i just i don't know what they're doing i just know that it's, they're planning on moving forward with it after they had to you know cancel it last year obviously mm -hmm. um because it's that it's a weekend in september usually first weekend or second weekend of september I think. is that memorial day yeah I think it's Memorial, Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. Memorial Day is the end of this month. No, it's not Memorial Day. That it's uh, Labor Day. Labor Day. Labor Day. Yeah. A day. Veterans Day. day. <laughs> Veterans. Well, that's November. I don't know. Isn't it? That's in November. That's in November. <laughs> no, that one. 
Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving, yes. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's a really fun event. We get big crowds there um, in previous years, and you know, it's it's a, it's a fun place. I never, I had never gone because I was always like, if I not working, I don't want to go to my office on my day off. <laughs> um, but obviously, I enjoy going, and I'll go this year when it happens. And if you guys are there, I'm absolutely going. Um, Brings and up I the I expect to be working on Galley Wars again, hopefully. Uh, Which obviously brings up the question uh, to the Geek Boots cast. Um, Single Dad, why don't you go ahead and take it off? Uh, Fleet Week, do you think it's a possibility for you this year? Oh, okay. Sorry. I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. I don't have dollar bills for you today, good sir. <laughs> okay, I take quarters. <laughs> I just pelt them at his forehead. Um, Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, there, she, there it is. Right. She's got the dollar bills for you. I got some $2 bills, too. You want... Ooh, those, Ooh, those are, are rare. Yeah. Not anymore. They're not rare. They, they put them out again. What? Mm, not in Washington. I have to, like, inform people. These are 2017s. Huh. Wow. You heard it here first. Two dollar bills are back out. And that's the title of this week's episode. Two dollar <laughs> bills are back out. <laughs> anyway, single dad. So um I think I already looked into it. Uh I know that I've got the kids that weekend. Um I, I would be down as long as we can look at schedules and everything like that. And uh, I would have time to walk around with the boys, do stuff like that, so that we're not tied to the booth. Um, we can have um, people there if we have some some assistance and everything like that. Uh, people helping out. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm totally down and I'd love to do it. And uh, uh, we need to come up with, with a booth set up if we do that. Yeah, for and sure. Definitely a, definitely a pop-up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's definitely necessary. Yeah. Yeah. We uh, There's a lot of planning that needs to happen into this. Of course, the first initial step is to know – who would be attending? Um, I am 100% down, obviously, um, as long as other cast members are there as well of Geek Boots, um, just to kind of help out so I don't feel completely lost. Uh, <laughs> um, we would be selling posters. We would be selling T-shirts, uh, if possible. T-shirts are so much more expensive than posters. That's such an insane thing to me. But anyway, um, yeah, that would be fucking incredible. Cosplay Genemy, your thoughts on Fleet Week? Uh, so, <clears throat> again, it's kids weekend, so, so there's no way I could go at this point in time. But would you go in the future? If it's that weekend, I gotta, I gotta find out what weekend they're doing it still. Yeah. Um, well, it says it on their website. Oh, it does? Okay, they have it up already? Yeah. Yeah, God, Castellon. I haven't looked at it, dude. <laughs> I could probably You're find it. I still have a screenshot. Us, man. I just work there. I don't look at the events. <laughs> I am the only one who read the article. I am the I'm only serious. person who actually read it. Seriously, I sent that to them, and then people were like, "Ah, oh, looks like a kids' week, uh, kids' weekend, or whatever." No, they don't have the dates out. And yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Going, no, they do. Here it is. Yeah, no, I'm looking at it right now. I see it. So I said, well, I probably still have the screenshot. Like, not because we just had this conversation. Right. But yeah, it is. Uh, we did. The third to the sixth. Boots on the ground. Alan, would you uh, consider it, uh, joining us? Of course. Boom. Mine got it. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yep, done. <laughs> And mine goddess. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> I throw so much shade. She's going to kill me one of these days. She's going to listen to one of these episodes where she's not here. Where we're, we're talking crap about her because we love her. And she's going to be like, I didn't realize that you guys talk so much shit. <laughs> um, Fleet Week. So, yeah, we I feel will... like she does realize we did a whole like art thing for her. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we really I do. I do kind of think she realizes. We, we totally, <clears throat> totally, totally did. Totally. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. 
She looks You need to put so another scammer's have a placeholder there. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, I have a br- br- I have a breaking news item for you guys. Oh, of Ooh. course. From boots on the ground. Are you kidding me? Let's do it. This is what he's here for. <laughs> if you were at Disneyland right now, you would have received a limited release edition of the Bad Batch pin. And suddenly, single dad's entire opinion about when he goes has shifted. <laughs> uh, no, because photo I'm... courtesy I... of cosplay parents. Mm. Yeah, I okay, love them. Um, can't say anything bad about them ever. <laughs> but no, I, I, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> So, like, these, there's the collectibles that are, like, limited release and everything like that, and that's, if there's one thing that I despise about Disney corporate, it's that. And mm. you have to be in the park at a certain time, on a certain day, to get this stuff, and it's like, but they don't announce it, they don't tell anybody, it's mm-hmm. just like, here you go, it's like, well, I'm, I'm sorry, I have a job, I've got kids. Uh, and I, I can't go to the park every day and hang out and wait for stuff like this. So, and there are people that you used to do this. They yep. had their positive dramatic effect. Season passes. They would go every day. No. So. <sighs> All right. Now Ignore into me. the, uh, nope, into the final topic, uh, with, considering all events uh, as a whole for this episode. So. For me, Emerald City Comic Con is supposedly coming out in December, and they have not updated a lot of their policies on masks. Um, so now we're going to talk about cons. Before we roll into it, does anybody in California, do you guys know if certain conventions are opening up anytime at all this year? Well, supposedly LA Comic Con is going to be held in but December. If I'm wrong, it's September, isn't it? latter part of september or is it december i thought it was december which was the I... one that which was the one that slated for thanksgiving weekend mm. of this year san diego san diego yeah. yes yeah okay 197 days uh, pretty sure LA's... la did december 3rd to 5th lacc i thought was december yeah december 3rd to 5th there's a smaller one comic-con revolution out in ontario but i forget when this year yeah, they're starting up, but I, mean, I don't think I'll be going to any of those before WonderCon. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I know I'm not going to LACC. I made yeah. a point. December after, after their though. shenanigans. Yeah. Yeah, that was garbage. Yeah, it's, it, yeah for me, it's, it's now it's personal. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, I, I, Alan knows my issues with with LA Comic Con and I almost didn't go la- the last time and I got dragged kicking and screaming and then still didn't I mean there were still issues actually Sean you were there for those um, yeah that was fun <laughs> <laughs> it was good was, overall it yeah. ended up being good like fantastic it ended up being good but yeah so Man. now in LA yeah I I think I've now officially written LACC off of my list of cons to go to ever again yeah like i'm gonna i'm gonna put a pin in that i would love to talk more about it maybe next week because obviously we have to continue this whole entire topics in these conversations because mayan's not here and she was there for may the 4th so she has the insight and this is an episode she really wanted to do so obviously we have to do it next week hopefully depending on whether or not she is here life happens um but uh, that's that's all interesting to know. Emerald City Comic Con. So this all thing got brought up because uh, somebody, and this is in the wheelhouse of the topics, somebody posted on Facebook about how the um, regulations are either worded poorly or just as a whole don't make sense to the point of you bet you got to beg to ask the question, why even have an event if this is the way you're going to run it? Um, before I get into Emerald City Comic Con, cosplay Jenemy, is there any conventions this year that you've been eyeing and you're wondering about? Um, I'm not traveling this year, so at least probably not for the rest of the year, unless you know it comes November, December, and things have drastically changed. Sure. Uh, 
that makes sense. I, I totally agree with you. But so, we're having our, our local um, Colorado Springs Comic Con in August. It's mm -hmm. generally in a mall. It's not usually <laughs> very big. I'll probably make an appearance. And in bigger crowds than that. <laughs> but it depends. Again, it depends. Normally I work I work it, so I've not had to try to get into one so in a really long time. So I've not actually just gone to a convention in forever. So but I'll probably make an appearance. It's in my town. It's just right up the road from me where it's gonna where it's located at. So yeah. uh the Denver Comic Con I possibly will do. Denver Pop Culture Con, I think is what it's called now. Um, though Fan Expo just bought them out, so yeah. So the whole. So I'm not really sure if they're going to keep the same name or not. Fair so. enough. So. So I may or may not do that. Um, the so Harry Potter convention is in October in Denver, um, over Halloween uh, weekend. That's a good decision. That's a good time span to do that in too that's i'm trying to think of what fun. it's called um mm -hmm. oh, crap what is it leaky con leaky uh, con like yeah it, it's there's so many other words they could have used from the harry potter world and they chose <laughs> that just sounds bad really does uh, <laughs> hopefully the convention uh, is the polar opposite of the name <laughs> uh, but that's also a kids weekend for me but my best friend from florida is well, florida no texas is planning on coming up to try to work it so mm -hmm. i'll probably go anyways but to just take the kids with me since it's only like an hour um at least go for one day mm -hmm. um so that's kind of where i stand um going to conventions doesn't really bother me i can wear a mask i can protect myself i can I'm, i mean i'm protecting myself from with my vaccine i can protect other people with my mask um and so I'm not too worried about going to these events. The only thing I worry about mostly right now is flight travel. <laughs> yeah. So I'm still iffy about flying anywhere at the moment. Mm. Um, going places, I've been, you know, I've been to the zoo. I've been to the museum in Denver already. So I've started to do things, but since I've been vaccinated, um, but traveling, uh, air travel has always been gross. <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. so, so so that's so i'm looking at local things at the moment and there are a few coming up so that that's I'm fair planning on attending i don't know when denver's is um culture con is at the moment so so not to cut you off but getting in <laughs> emeralds city comic because there's a fucking list i'm sure you can run down <laughs> <laughs> emerald city comic con so they uh they have their uh, policies thing up. They have a specific segment for physical distancing, but the very end of it has this little one that just feels like, why the fuck did you have to put this up? And it states, greet without shaking hands. Please observe physical distancing guidelines when greeting others and avoid handshakes and hugs. And it puts that in there because it's liability. It's it it's a liability thing. Right. Yeah, it's a legal. I'm not no, doing hold on, hold on. it. Pause. I'm okay, not, sorry. I'm not that's, necessarily that's, disagreeing. It's the same reason that McDonald's puts caution hot on their coffee. I'm not disagreeing with the policy. I'm just simply stating if you're this worried about it, why have a convention in the first place? Well, they're probably not. They're just putting that in there. Yeah. So a, they put that in there. To, our yeah. good deed. Right. So my, uh, my buddy posts on his Facebook ECC saying they're going to start policing high fives and hugs is just don't have a convention if it's that bad. Like the idea of two adults hugging and some poor volunteer having to run up like, stop this Care Bear nonsense right now. It's fucking funny, but also really pathetic that they're still having a con. <laughs> well, they're not going to stop anybody. No, just they, saying. They, they, that's not what it says at all. It's not saying it's a policy that you can't. It's asking you to please refrain from. Yeah. So um, they are not liable for that's anything a work. It's not pass. our fault if you do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's a CYA clause. Now to get yes. into the. 100%. It's the same thing as McDonald's putting caution hot on their coffee. Don't dump it, it, it on your crotch. lap. And, okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That's how I wake up, single dad. <laughs> Is that not how you drink coffee? 
<laughs> no, I don't butt chug my coffee. Sorry. <laughs> Just a straw and shove it up your. Never mind. Um, costume and cosplay. That's what that hole in the middle of the coffee thing is for. <laughs> to go up your butt on a on your on the coffee decanter. <laughs> that... <laughs> a hole in the middle. You put the straw in there. Why well, put in a mug? <laughs> you don't need a mug for coffee. Did you say a coffee yes. decanter? Yeah. Hey. The coffee pot. I'm sorry. Coffee pot. <laughs> the glass thing. He's an alcoholic. <laughs> anyway. Costume and cosplay. These policies apply to cosplay and costume pieces. <sighs> Face coverings must be visible at all times. For this reason, headwear and cosplay pieces which cover the face in a manner which does not visibly fit the face covering requirements will not be permitted. We appreciate your understanding. So, of course, I'm just <gasps> they like, did change the name. Sorry to interrupt. It yep. is now Fan Expo Den. So, no masks. Yep. So, no masks. Sorry. Um, so, the all face covering must be at a minimum. And then they do the, you know, has to be over the face. And they also talk about like, uh, you can't have like a bandana or something that doesn't completely come over, which is, it's funny because I'm sitting here going, that really should be the policy overall. I'm surprised more people don't adhere to that on a simple factual level but regardless moving forward yeah so like uh, not permitted face coverings with exhalation valves or face like i said uh bandanas and such and then costume masks as a whole are not allowed at emerald city comic-con and again that's this is not an agree or disagree i'm just saying that is 75 percent of your customer base I can't help but agree with my be my friend's post on this and say, why have a convention? I mean, I get it. You want to make money. That's that's your job. But at the same time, I'm just like, if it's that much of a concern, continue to hold on and wait for things to get better. And I think what was funny when no, we, were it puts we were previously discussing this and Castellon goes, so Deadpool and the icon in which they use for this is a deadpool mask and i just feel kind of targeted right now <laughs> <laughs> it's that's fine, but i mean that's that's a business decision and they're making a a decision for their company yeah fine and and that's all well and good and so it puts the onus of responsibility on the individual which is what i mean i hate to say it so many people are crying about these days is personal responsibility I want to be able to make the choice of wearing a mask or not wearing a mask. Okay, cool. Now we're saying, hey, if you want to attend this event, you cannot wear a full face mask. You have to wear a medical mask or a, a cloth mask or something like that to protect the, the other con goers. So, yeah, I get it. Yes, they are going to have a con. Yes, it's the same thing as having a grocery store open. Why? Because they're still going to be in business. They're still yeah. going to conduct business. And it's up to the individuals that are going, whether they're going to choose to go or not go. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's certain levels where I'm like, but what if, because there's certain masks that I know where it's like, I'm sorry, there, I, I know for a fact, my Deadpool mask, it, a lot of air does not get through that thing. The way it's designed, it's not yeah. a normal fabric mask. I'm breathing onto myself. So I'm like, Okay, but like, but they of course don't know that. There's a lot of details, obviously, in terms of conversation, but of course, we can't have those conversations because they can't do that with every single customer that comes through the door because that would be way too long and too much. You know, there's a whole lot of details. I just, I well, find it's easier to just, just say, a blanket this statement. Is our rule. This, yeah. is our, this is our rule. We're going to do that. There's a lot more cosplays you can do that don't have masks. Yeah. And you can still cosplay Deadpool. Without wearing the mask. I was actually That's contemplating. The thing. There are so many versions of Deadpool there, out there. I mean, I, really, it doesn't, it doesn't, I wouldn't say it eliminates 75%. Honestly, I don't even think 75% is probably even just cosplay. Masked. Yeah. The, and then, and then I you mean, limit, and then it's probably still 50% of those that might be masked and probably less than that. It might be even like 30%. I was going to say, as the person who goes to Emerald City Comic Con, I can say without a shadow of a doubt that really is the huge customer basis of the Pacific Northwest. Okay, a so lot of it's people. just, you're just saying but, Emerald City, okay. Yeah, yeah, just Emerald City, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because I've been to a ton I'm of sure, yeah, conventions, I, I would, and I wouldn't say any of them have 
75 percent right like i from video footage i've just personally seen of conventions in california that's the reason why i would love to attend a california con is because there's actual people who want to attend the con emerald city comic con attendees um i'm kind of catch fire for this but fuck them i know so many people who bought a ticket and never went in and I'm like, do you know how many people were really dying to go into the convention to go see a certain artist alley specifically or get a collectible or get a rare comic or see some exhibit or see a celebrity? And now, in all honesty, yeah, I'm just going to say that's really kind of messed up that you bought a ticket and you never fucking went in. Yeah, that's messed paid up. For, that's I mean, there's, there's more people I know who don't buy tickets and stand outside conventions. Right, but... Yeah. they they have the mindset i would rather them pay for a ticket because then there's there's this pl- is getting money there's this place called um and alan knows of this location the the photography corner it's up a series of escalators you don't need a, a badge or a ticket or what have you to be in this location all the all these people have tickets because they think they need it to go into this location you don't that's not the technical actual entryway into the convention which is also kind of a security risk if now that i'm thinking about it i'm like this is why some people are managing to sneak in not showing a badge (laughs) so the same thing at anime expo Mm. sure i don't know anything about that but i just want to nod and say yes (laughs) the dallas fan expo the, it has the same type of elevator mm. thing to get up, but they have the tickets outside of the building. You have to, you can't get into. The same building. thing with MegaCon Orlando. <clears throat> Remember when all the uh, weapons restrictions started coming out? I was at the con that happened because of. And, oh and yeah, we yeah, had yeah. to start yeah, adjusting yeah. how we do our weapons restrictions for our cosplays. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. Yep. We're yeah. just having to adjust, and hopefully, this is just temporary. But that was a permanent adjustment. Nobody's going back on that. Yeah. yeah. Probably a lot of places are getting even more strict, even with that. Yeah. yeah. And so it's just kind of that thought process I tend to tend to follow more than I look at a restriction and say, mm, "Yeah, that sucks. Now I have to adjust." But I'm adjusting in a certain way, temporary right now. And so that's not going to hurt me. Well, it's no. funny. It's it is funny that you kind of bring this up because we were talking previously. Uh, Alan was bringing up cosplay parents uh, going to Disneyland, um, and how it was funny how they kind of changed their the way they were doing it because they've been very strict about COVID and and social distancing, and then all of a sudden now they're at Disneyland, and I'm like, you know, I can't deny that a part of me even today so yesterday when i found all this out i'm like fuck it i'm not going to emerald city comic con and then today at work i couldn't help but just kind of sit there and think in my thoughts and go okay but like i don't have to dress up to go to a convention because i just want to see people (laughs) and that's true i mean you got to think of it that way i can adjust a cosplay that i have i mean your cosplay your deadpool your new military deadpool cosplay is so you that would make more sense for you not to have the mask on and speaking of, there you go. Nice. See, <laughs> nice. right? Fuck I was gonna right. suggest that I have one, but it has the vent on the side, so you couldn't. I mean, one because I a part of me feels like if I went to a convention and I saw you, yeah. If I didn't know you, I mean, like followed you, but I wasn't, you know, as intimate with you as I am. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> 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 and and I saw that it's so uniquely yours that I would rather have it without a mask on. I would mm-hmm. rather have that picture with you without a mask on. If that you makes no, you just brought some light into my universe with that comment because uh, that's a huge compliment. Because it's this. Yes, thank you, Jen. I'm I'm gonna um I'm gonna take that snippet of what you said. I'm gonna save that as its own video file. And every once in a while, I'm just gonna. Hit the play button on that. Just be like, <laughs> there it is. There's that spark of joy. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> oh, this is why I have these people in my life, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, anyway, that being said, all events and our thoughts on these events as we wrap this episode up. Um, comment on any events that you know you're thinking about attending or you know ask us questions and we'll throw try to throw that in the next time we have this topic um make sure you like comment subscribe uh check out our pod check us out on our patreon we are on podbean uh we are on itunes spotify amazon we are on your mother's backside uh we're on youtube maybe on Pornhub. i'm not sure someone's gonna do something with us <laughs> uh with me uh are the usual suspects representing the navy we have single dad cosplay aka point play shot photography it's it's a podcast it's an audio podcast (laughs) it takes me back to the beginning where he he waved a lot (laughs) we're like you have to say something he turns out he goes no i don't wanna (laughs) He's shaking his head now. You guys don't get his audio apparently for whatever reason. He's upset. Who knows? I'll give him a big hug. Don't worry. A big hug from behind. No? No reaction to that? Wow. Getting nothing from him. Fuck. Cosplay Genevieve representing the Air Force veteran. Hi. Hi. Awkward one. (laughs) (laughs) And our other fellow Air Force veteran, Alan, a.k.a. Boots on the Ground, a.k.a. Natural Light Photography 70. Did I get that right? That's right. Yes! (laughs) You know what the 70 stands for? Your birth? Nope. Oh, okay. (laughs) It's the year I started photography. Oh, wow. Nice. Damn. You've been around the block for a minute, man. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Step really? aside, everybody. Alan coming in. <laughs> How many years of experience does Alan have? He's been doing it longer than you've been alive. So, like, <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, and of course, Castellon Cosplay. Thank you for having me on, man. I appreciate it. I was really wondering if you're going to follow in the faint, same footsteps as Russ and do absolutely nothing and just do a peace sign and then leave it there. <laughs> I was like, what's happening right now? It's contagious. It'd be funny. I should Yeah. And I am your host representing the Army, Tom Cruise, military nerd on all platforms. Thank you all for attending this uh, interesting conversation um, about events. We will keep you in the loop. Make sure you check us out on our social media because I'm sure as time progresses, we will let you know if we do Fleet Week because that'll be a fun event for us to do. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Have a good week. And suck a fucking dick, motherfucker. Suck a fucking dick, motherfucker. Suck a fucking dick, motherfucker. Suck a fucking dick, motherfucker.